Hello YouTube, it's the Utopian Buddha. So today I want to talk about the three levels of karmic interpretations of the universe, right? First, there's the dualistic or Old Testament God interpretation of karma, right? So that interpretation of karma talks about how you get punished for doing bad things in a past life and you get rewarded for doing good things. So apparently like if you're a starving child right now, um, that means you did something so bad in your past lives that you deserve to starve on this planet Earth, which creates fatalism, which creates a desire to not do anything. The second interpretation of karma is the qualified non-dualism interpretation of karma. That interpretation of karma talks about how karma is the creator of your destiny, right? Karma is the thing that relates and connects all of the humans in the universe. So let me give you a story to um, il illustrate that point. So when I was young, I was a baby, right? And my grandfather, I was in my grandparents' house in Bangalore. And my grandfather was supposed to be watching me. He was supposed to be watching me. And somehow I was a baby, so I, I slipped out the front gate and I walked like two miles or maybe like a mile down the road to a local park. And I was playing on the pe playground of the park when I was three years old in the middle of India, dude, or in, with all these people around. Some child some child he was a child at that time he saw me and he knew who i was he knew that i was uh the the child of that it, you know i was the kid that belonged in that house right so he came and he brought me back right if that hadn't happened so so what i'm saying is there are synchronicities right relation karmic relations in the universe right so i sincerely believe this right what you do to another person's life the reality the the way you change another person's life interacts with you karmically right it karmically influences you because everything is connected so like i'm trying to save people's lives really like that's what i'm doing dude like i'm i'm trying to save people's lives i write books and i'm trying to end childhood hunger i'm not perfect I've done terrible things, I've done bad things, I've done good things, I've done a lot of good things too. I've done mostly good things, in fact. But I'm not perfect, right? I'm not saying I'm perfect. But in the karmic relationships of the universe, whew, whew, my arm got tired, you know. I've been working out, guys. I've been working out a little bit, dude. But um, anyways, uh, so yeah, so that's how that works. All right, but the highest level of karma is... Uh, is um, Lost train of my thought. Dang. The highest level of karma is the fact that karma doesn't exist and that everything is one and that all time is, is in the now and all eternity and infinity. Uh, that's the oneness where karma is an illusion, right? That's the level. That's where we have to go. If we're going to create utopia, if we're going to create heaven on earth in the eternal now, um, that's the level of karma that we have got to get to. Have a good one, guys. Three minutes.